to be active and vote. Do you care to change their perception? And if so, how would you go about doing so? Well, I can honestly say, and that's a great question, but I can honestly say, I know you ain't talking about me. All right? All right, that's number one. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'm a child of the 60s. I, I, I grew up in a time of civil rights and social justice. And when Harlem and East Harlem and all of our neighborhoods were connected, all right? They were connected. We were all one community. Uh, we played stickball down there on 111th Street on the east side all the time. So uh, and, and let me just tell you, I have, and I have represented Central and West Harlem. I live in East Harlem, technically. Community Board 11. Um, I have done, you know, this uh, K2 crisis and the homeless crisis has hit this community hard. 125th Street, you know, the 125th Street and Lexington Avenue is, is almost unrecognizable than it was years ago. All right, so I've been working very hard with, uh, with Speaker Melissa Mark Riverito and the Assemblyman Robert Rodriguez to clean it up. Uh, certainly there's only a Band-Aid that's been put there. It's only a Band-Aid, but it's not as bad, you know, I'm sorry to say we had to put that eye in the sky, number one, but we also had to reroute the homeless traffic from Randall's Island and Ward's Island because 125th Street in Lexington Avenue was the only stop. So we have to create more stops. So, as I said, it was just a remedial sort of uh, prophylactic measure. Number two, no one is fighting harder than myself to make sure that 125th Street and 2nd Avenue becomes a stop on the 2nd Avenue subway. And, uh, you know, that's, listen, so, you know, it's, it's not, we're all, I guess, popular in our own little pieces of the world. But we have to realize that we have to think globally. This is not something that's new to me at all. All right? I think uh, the folks in East Harlem, folks in Central Harlem, folks in West Harlem know me quite, quite well. So what would we do? I would just keep doing what I've been doing. But elected officials as a group need to work more and think more globally than just their own little pieces of the world. I'm not guilty of that. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Well, I live on 117th Street and 1st Avenue. I work on 117th Street and 1st Avenue. So obviously I come out every day. I even have to move my car now, all to the side of the street parking. Every morning, every afternoon. Um, I just got a car for this campaign. Most of you knew me uh, without a car for the last few years and see me walk in the streets and see me take the train and see me talking to you, which is one of the things that we don't see in politicians these days. They don't listen. All you do is blah, 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 talk, talk, talk. You can't have a conversation with them. You can't even get your point across. You know me over the years, I listen to you. You know me over the years, I work and fight for you. Not for any political machine. I don't have strings attached to me. I'm not a puppet or a marionette. Never have been and never will be. I will continue to fight for this community. And when I leave this community, I leave to go to Washington, D.C. to fight for the release of our Puerto Rican political prisoners as we did 20 years ago in the White House. When I leave this community, I go to Albany to fight to open up Borinquen Health Clinic so it can have its own space. Most of you know Borinquen here in Taino Towers, but most of you now know they're across the street. And Ellie Sanchez, the executive director, will be the first to tell you it was actually through my efforts. It was through my efforts that we now have Hunter College on 119th Street and 3rd Avenue. So when I left this community, it was to go to 68th Street and speak to Jennifer Rapp, the president of Hunter College, and talk to her and urge her to bring a location to 119th and 3rd Avenue. So if you don't see me around, it's because I'm busy working and fighting on your behalf, but most of the time you see me around. Thank you. Thank you.